three, three minute rounds of the amateur mixed martial arts rules in the bantamweight division. So introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he enters the cage with a record two victories, one defeat. Representing SGB Rochdale, ladies and gentlemen, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the Swedish guests make some noise for Oliver Stokes! His opponent this evening standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He enters tonight with a record of two victories, two defeats, representing Gavin Hughes and MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, the Swedish guests make some noise for Tom Mr. Mick referee Mick Clement about to get this one underway. Three three minute rounds if they need them in the FCC Bantamweight division. Tom Peel in the short black shorts taking on SBG Rochdale's Oliver Stokes in the long black trunks. Nice left hand there from Stokes early and he immediately jumps on that takedown entry. They're trying to go straight for the high crotch lift then but great head control from Peel to really just peel him off himself. Peel by name, peel by nature. <laughs> nice frame there from the Gavin Hughes MMA project. Got to watch the guillotine. Looks tight. Oh. Let's see if he can get a solid grip. That looks pretty tight. Pretty tight. Stokes face going red already. He's fighting it. He needs to take his right arm and place it on the left wrist of Peel and try and force that wrist down. Try and find an escape. Peel looking very relaxed here. He's not rushing this finish at all. No, trying to find an angle. And he's let the grip go and again he tries to frame the head away. Stokes doggedly chasing this takedown attempt. Really good uh, control by Peel to really defend that takedown. Stokes not getting anywhere close to uh, succeeding here. Really nice knee to the good cage. Yeah, knees to the head now, taken out for amateurs. Otherwise, certainly would have seen one there with that, that head position. Good shots to the body though here from Peel. Defends the uh, the hip throw there from Oliver Stokes. Fifth amateur contest from uh, from Tom Peel. Free stopping. Sponsors coming down. There we go. Thanks to our uh, sponsors, whoever that was. Bolton Auction Room. Bolton Auction Room. We'll give them a shout out then, seeing as the, uh, the stick has gone. Of course, don't forget to check out all our sponsors here tonight, making FCC 25 possible. Jockeying for position here at Tom Peel and Oliver Stokes. And it's Peel with the takedown. Stokes very active though, and straight back to his feet. Beautiful little scramble from the pair of them. Peel dominating this so far, really good news. And of course, both, both these guys looking very, very trim at Bantamite Harry, so I expect this pace to be kept up for the majority of this contest. Oh, definitely. It's what I expected when we came in, and so far it's what we're getting. Final 10 seconds of the round, and that went very quickly. Non-stop action in this bantamweight contest. A lot of clinch work from the pair of them. The tops are turning, constantly rotating. The fun opening round. Yeah, Tom Peel for me is going to edge that one on the uh, on the scorecard. The striking from that clinch position, especially the knees, was pretty sublime. Everything else, pretty much a wash in that round. Very even. Very much looking forward to seeing what these two young men produce in the second frame. And neither man looks too tidy, but we've got to look at the uh, corner work. Both look still fresh, still trim, as you said, ready to go for the uh, next round. Marcus Staples in the corner there. Busy night for him here at FCC 25 thus far. 
Let's see if he can get the right game plan in place for young Oliver Stokes. He likes to come out this second round. I'd like to see a bit more uh, more strike striking work from the pair of them. See uh, what they have in that facet in this round. We had a really good uh, top 10 scramble of the first round. Let's see if we see anything different in this round. Well, the seconds are around. We're going to get this second frame underway. In the corner of Tom Peel, just saying exactly the same. They want more of the first round's action from their man. And again, they go straight back to that clinch position, Harry. Yeah, I'm not, not so sure why uh, Stokes seems so, so hell-bent on getting back to that position given the uh, showings of the first round. It looked like he was briefly trying to rack, wrap oh. the neck up there, perhaps trying to switch to the back, <laughs> but he's not going to be afforded that opportunity by Tom Peel. He's looking really aggressive with his takedowns, not letting his man have any space. Nice wrist control, taking the post immediately before his man's able to uh, get back to his uh, feet in the, dom in the dominant position. Really strong head work, hold his man against the fence. Working the knees, just wearing his man's legs down too. You see the really works a lot on this cage work. Oh, looking to jump for the triangle there. He yeah, needing to sit back here, wrap his leg around the back with Stokes' leg. Trying to get himself to safety. And that long frame of Stokes, perfect for these triangle entries. So to really wrap, wrap his right arm inside rather than outside of that left leg. Trying to get a tighter triangle choke. To bring that left, left leg, just right leg, sorry, just over a little bit tighter. Closing that triangle choke. Tense moments here for Tom Peel as he tries to fight his way out of this triangle grip. You're really used to try and stack his man a little bit more, put as much pressure as possible on the higher frame of Stokes on the back of that neck, force a break in the triangle choke. Really, that's nice amount of triangle here. Steps into that mounted position and he's got options here. Peel looks to be out and he is. Very good work by Peel to uh, survive that triangle choke. He took a scary moment to the man. Well, he's not out of danger yet. Now he is. Passes the guard beautifully. He's going to have to do some work now to uh, swing this one back in his favour. Oh, there could have been a dash choke there if he can force him back down. Another nice knee to the body there from Peel. Oliver Stokes, though, appears to be putting his foot on the gas here in the second round. After that first round, which we saw a lot of Peel's um, striking work against the cage, a lot of knees. It's not exactly what he needs to be doing. A much better round here for Oliver Stokes. Stokes with the shoulder shrugs there. Yes. <laughs> Takes one back from Peel. Man, uh, Conor McGregor's got a lot to answer for, doesn't he? <laughs> so much. <laughs> yeah, as you say, Harry, a much better round there for Oliver Stokes. Came out looking a little bit more confident. We questioned why he wanted to get back in that clinch position and he answered with that uh, jumping triangle entry there. Obviously very confident on his ability to uh, to get the fight to the ground from within that clinch. Exactly what we saw in the second round. Wasn't quite able to finish the choke, but it's going to give him a lot of confidence going into round three. Yeah, you saw a lot of his potential there in those situations. Took his count with a triangle, didn't try and force it too quickly. And that mounted triangle as well. Just confident in a lot of compromising positions at this peel. I think we could be in for a very interesting third round. It'll be interesting to see now if we get more of the same, if they both go back to that clinch position where both men have had success, or does one of them roll the dice here and try a different, a different game plan in this third round? I still would like to see more striking from the two of them. You know, so far, we can't really complain about the action we've seen. But it was to be greedy. I'd like to see a bit more of the, uh, the, the stamping work both of them. A few hands, let the kicks go. I'll see a little bit more from the two of them. 
but both of these guys are, are, are quite tall and lean for bantamweight so they're probably used to being the uh, the bigger longer man in the cage in the bantamweight competition but that really is negated uh, in this contest and perhaps that's why we've seen them uh, fall back into the, uh, these clinch battles there was a little bit there but as you said these clinch battles given the height and uh, being quite lanky bantamweight when you're used to being in that position you have to change everything up uh, when you come up against a man who's exactly like a, like a mirror image of you really and the corner appeal there for the man to use the unhook to actually disengage from this position. Shoulder strikes working well. Stops your man thinking. Makes him freeze for a second. Stokes content to just pin his man up against the cage for now. Put some time on the clock. I think it's been one of those fights where it's been quite close and quite even. Where in the third round, the last thing you really wanted to do. In is having, a, is having a fight up against the cage you really want to distance yourself from your man in comparison to the other rounds you really set yourself aside on those judges cards oh and Beautiful Peel looks a bit briefly come out on top there but Stokes able to use that momentum to roll through Stokes now in the open guard is he going to be able to step past it here big nice. takedown nice. driving forward there nice. from Tom Peel Almost Matt, Matt uh, Hugh versus Frank Trick. Oh, but he's left the oh. arm in. He's going to have to be very careful here defending the arm. He's got it out. He's not going to be able to set up the, uh, the reverse triangle from that position. But, but his arm's safe. Both arms are safe now for Tom Peel. And it's going to be a case of who comes out on top of this scramble better. But Peel immediately else. putting himself back in that triangle, though. He's to sit back straight away, trying to stack his man. Peel needs to come up here. Big Nothing. punches from Stokes as Peel tries to find a way out. The guard is a lot tight above the shoulders for the triangle. Let's pull that right arm across. He strikes his pot stopping his man from thinking that's tight. Pull that right arm across. Pull the triangle locked in here. With that right arm underneath the left leg of Peel. Switching for the arm perhaps is Stokes. Peel defending well, he's taking a lot of shots here. Stokes trying to get a grip on that arm and straighten the limb out. Can roll his man flat here to get under belly arm bar, but back to the feet. Tense moments here as Stokes again. And to stack him, very nice work. He's not going to have time to get oh. the finish here. <laughs> it is over. Ten scrambles in that third and final round between Tom Peel and Oliver Stokes. Supposed to be wrenching the arm there as the, uh, as the buzzer sounded. On the very, very, very fun uh, third round. Yeah, you've got to think Stokes is going to take that one on the judges' scorecards. He was attacking there. He was looking for the submission attempts. I can't even remember what happened in the first two rounds. I'll be honest, <laughs> there was a lot going on. A lot of... Uh, back and forth in the clinch the, the better strikes from within the clinch in that first frame coming from Tom Peel we saw Stokes with the triangle in the second round did he do enough in that second round to snatch it on the judges scorecards the third round it's probably going to go to Stokes so it could all come down to that second round Harry he could in that third round he set himself apart with uh, coming straight out throwing a few kicks and those submission attempts that could help with that second round was a lot closer with the scrambles and submission from both men. Let's throw it to RMC in the cage, Mr. Jonathan Millard, to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards with a unanimous decision. Your winner in the blue corner.